Six months ago, I went on a quest to find the hardest video game of all time, and I found that it was none other than Don't Shoot the Puppy. But recently, I discovered there may be a tougher game, and by discovered, I mean everyone in the comments yelled at me that I'm stupider than a pirate buying car insurance. So it's time I play a ton of games and search for the most difficult game of all time. Also, people thought that my question at the end of the last video was a JoJo reference, but no, I haven't seen JoJo, I'm not going to make a JoJo reference. Anyway, the first difficult game I'll be playing is called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for the PlayStation. Just kidding, it's Toho. Everybody said there is a Japanese bullet hell shooter that looks like this, so yeah, that might be the hardest. But I can't find it, it's not on Steam, the Reddit is confusing, and the closest thing I found was this. Toho Island. Has 4.8 stars though, it must be good. While I'm looking for that game, I'm going to start another. Sorry guys, this video might be a bit short. I've already found the world's hardest game, but I will beat it first. Alright, level 1. I can't tell if I'm allowed to use this music, so I'm replacing it with this. Alright, here we go, can't wait to- uh, Yeah, here we go, okay, I'm dodging now, my chakras are aligned. I've figured out the algorithm of a blue dot- Okay, okay, no need to get mad at a video game. I'm just patient, if I take my time, I'm banning all video games when I become president. One, two, three! Ah, oh, there we go. Now I know the pattern, I'm ready. Don't even bother trying. Okay, world's most disheartening game, maybe. I then tried level two for a while. Lost a few times. Come on, come on, make it, yes! That's the furthest I've ever gotten! I'm on the final stretch. Uh, you know what? Actually, we're gonna play a different version of the game, an even harder one. See, in this one, I could use my skills to bypass this level entirely because who's gonna stop me? It might look like I'm cheating, but I'm actually moving faster than the human eye can see. Ooh, this level, try to beat me now. Ahaha, <laughs> who's gonna stop me now? Physics can screw itself! I always hated you, Galileo! Hardest game ever beaten. Video over without a single JoJo reference. Well done. Okay, that was a bit too easy, I guess, but I think I've gotten closer to defining Toho. Is this it? Toho restaurant in Barcelona? Don't worry, I'll get to that game soon. But first I need to experience what difficulty actually is. So I'm going to the most staple hard game ever, Dark Souls. The game opens to a gloomy forest raining, trying to scare us. This is what will happen if you don't fix global warming, Ooh. Then a woman who ignored 9 out of 10 dentists recommendation talks to us. One day... You will stand. Damn, this game was ahead of its time. Okay, hurry up, we get it, it's gloomy and sad. Is this the part of the game that's meant to be hard, sitting through the cutscenes? See, that's the last guy who played this game, died of old age waiting for it to start. Okay, I'll give you the summary of the rest. Main dude finds some fireflies and they're like, Nope, we're actually vampire fireflies, bitch! Then the full moon makes them go, <laughs> That's why we're called fireflies, bitch! I thought it was because you fly! No, well, yeah, that too, but whatever. How about we just summon some enters from Harry Potter? God damn it! I never read the third book. They didn't translate the title to Let make it easier to understand. To I have to think back to my training at the swimming pool. Yeah. Belly flop! Whoa! Man, you gotta get some new clothes. What's with all that brown? It's Gucci. Ah, oh, whatever. Have a good time in Wonderland, bitch! And now I can actually play the game, but it feels like I'm 10 hours in and haven't died once, so I need to check if this is the right game. Then I saw that it didn't pause, and yep, that's the right game. Dark Souls demands you to eat, sleep, and call your friends while you play the game, assuming you have friends. But just to make sure this is Dark Souls, I tried collecting wood, and no, this is not Minecraft. Finally, I found out where to go. Press A to open. Uh, I'm on PC? Wh which one is the A key? Damn it, starting to wish this was Minecraft. Akio, open or I'll punch you in the face. Works every time. Oh good, another cutscene. I missed those. What seems to be the ruckus? Well actually, a firefly turned himself into a Dementor. Funniest thing I've ever seen. What's my name? Of course I know my name. It's a very ordinary name. It's Bunnings Annihilator. Oh, it doesn't fit. Uh, I guess I'll just be Bunnings then. Since I'll die 500 times in the game anyway, I can detect them that way. Choosing my class is interesting. How do I make this game more difficult? I could take no armor, but then the monsters would be scared of my abs. If I wear red, I'll run faster. I could wear an Udi to slow them down, but that class is religious, and I don't want to offend anyone. Named Christian. Hmm, Explorer. Not terribly powerful, but has many items. Or many tools. I have to go with this, I'm Bonnings. Honestly, the male and female look exactly the same. I'm not gonna tell you which I picked, so you can just guess. And now I am ready for my adventure, in one of the hardest games games ever created. As soon as I figure out how doors work. I mean seriously, how do I work this? Hey, there we go! Wait, no, that's the wrong door. Back where I started. Okay, this time. Now, to face my first enemy. A piece of wood. Hello, my name is Bunnings. You killed my tree. Prepare to be cut. And then there's the easiest tutorial in any game, except for the Minecraft parkour jump, which is usually really difficult and annoying, but the controls are written in PlayStation and I'm on computer. Come on, if I press every button, then one of them will jump. 
Yes! What is my prize? You have now unlocked expert mode. All enemies deal 400% more damage. Oh, what the fuck? Then this statue blocks me from entering the final tutorial level, which makes me think the government should have just put statues in front of everyone's doors to stop them leaving lockdown. There's no way through this guy. And just as I'm leaving the tutorial area, I find bloodstains of my fallen comrades. What happened here? What could have killed them all? Oh, suicide. Mass suicide. A better fate than having to read the messages that other people leave in multiplayer Dark Souls. Have you ever been on Omegle? It's like that, but everyone is screaming at you from the ground. And now we enter Majula, which should be an epic moment of sunlight and opening and building symphony. But nope, the game just sticks to the sad music. You should have recycled. Ooh. And weirdly, I feel like I can hear the sun. Bitch. And we get our very own base camp bonfire, where we have the options to travel, attune spells, burn. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna burn. All right, playthrough over, bonding's burnt down. I searched over the town for any clues for the great question. Why do people think this game is hard? And I found something. Bloodstains mark where someone was moments before they died. I wonder how this person died on the edge of the well. Oh my god. It was the Bill Gates virus, that's undeniable proof. Here's a tip from a pro gamer to you. See this rock sitting on the edge of the well? That's called a suspicious placement and you're gonna wanna hit it. Then you get a secret item. Now that's not something you're gonna find anywhere but this channel because I'm just such a good gamer. Hello sir, I would like to buy some illegal drugs from you so that I can be cancelled for a publicity stunt. Oh no, I'm being attacked by a pig! Run! Technoblade has come to take my subscribers! Okay, finally I'm safe. I'm exploring and finding treasure. This is really what RPGs are all about. This is my safe space. Yeah, okay, that seems about right. But did you see how fast I fell through the water? How heavy am I? I did Pilates last Tuesday, but damn. Oh yeah, and after you die in this game, you turn into a zombie, and I'm not explaining any of the lore of that. This is just what happens when games try to explain respawning instead of just accepting that it's video game logic and you don't need to explain it. If we took everything in games literally, then there'd be no fast travel. We would just have to walk everywhere, and that would be no fun. This is my first proper fight with an enemy, actually two enemies, and as a pro gamer, I'm going to turn on my hyperspeed. And if you pay attention closely, you can see that I'm using a technique called Get Good. And here, one of our Bonning's employees has asked for a raise, and our procedure to follow here is to teach them how the tools are properly used. See, knives are sharp. Either you deliver them to a customer, or they get delivered to your face. Oh, and our lumberjack has gone on a mad rampage. Don't worry about that. He does that every Tuesday. It might be a bit late to explain, but Bunnings is an Australian hardware store. Then if you walk all the way back, you get to level up and choose one new ability. Um, I want to be a Super Saiyan. No, we don't have the rights to that. Fine, then I want the most powerful weapon of all. Binoculars. Thy wish has been granted. Here we go. With this tool, I'll be unstoppable. Just look at how many graphics I can see. Back toward danger. Alright, I'm climbing the ladder to get the high ground on my enemies. My favorite piece of merchandise told me to. Oh, hey man, you're going down the same ladder as me? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's my bad. It's my bad. I'll get out your way. Don't worry about it. It's a bit crowded, but I'll, I'll wait for you. I'm patient. Get the fuck off my ladder! Yeah, think you can step on me? Wait, wait, wait. I have to check if he's a bad guy. I can use my binoculars. Yeah, hmm, okay. He seems like a bad guy. I can kill him. See? That's why the binoculars are good. Okay, I have another Minecraft parkour jump. I watched Dream for this. Come on! Yes! Thank you, Dream! Look at these guys. They fell asleep during the cutscene at the beginning, and now I get a surprise attack. That's why I drink four Red Bulls every day, so I never sleep. Sponsored by Red Bull. Not sponsored. Hey, Lumberjack, you remind me of a cloud of tiny water droplets. You missed! Oh wait, I'm running out of time, damn it! I'm making a gaming video, and I haven't put a montage of killing enemies with Eurobeat music in the background. What am I doing? Binoculars. Check. Bunnings, open 6am to 9pm. Minecraft parkour hacks, installed. You remind me of a six-sided shape with dots on it used in gambling. You die! <laughs> Finally, the ladder is all mine! Yes! You remind me of this montage. You're finished! Oh, whoops, I montaged so hard that I beat the entire game. Well, I guess that's a speedrun world record. Okay, so that was Dark Souls, what a really hard game is supposed to be. Now that I've gotten a taste for what difficulty is, I'm finally ready for Toho. Turns out Toho is a franchise of like 20 different games made by one guy, and on Steam, it's called Dan Maku. Of course, why didn't I guess that? 
This game depicts a future where Elon Musk colonized space and people spent all their time arguing over which cryptocurrency will blow up next. And also the term to the moon is quite underwhelming now. So I am flying through space blowing up other spaceships while heavy metal plays. This is amazing. I refuse to change the music of this game. After a while of shooting supersonic spaceships so the solar system safe, I made my way to the first boss. And okay, look at this blue line. That's the health bar. It's going down. I'm doing barrel rolls, 360 no scopes, then whoop, it's all the way back up. This thing had five different health bars. What's the point of a health bar at that point? Anyway, I did eventually beat it. All right, I think I'm ready for expert mode. This mode is the future where Elon Musk fused with the great Deku Tree and McDonald's. It's space extreme. Wait, what? I'm actually doing it. Expert mode. I, I can win it. Oh my god, I must be so amazing at video games. Or this is just the first level and they made it easy on purpose. Either way, I'm enjoying this so much. Heavy metal fueled space battles are my new favorite genre. The first boss still has five health bars, but about 500% more bullets. As a YouTuber, I have a lot of practice dodging hate comments and random controversy. I spent years of limbo practice to prepare for this dodging. I won! First boss defeated in expo mode, and then immediately on the second level I died 12 times, but I did eventually win. Okay, so Toho is a difficult looking game, but it's not hard to play, because it's so much fun and I'm definitely playing it more. It's also a game franchise, not just a game, and I can actually beat it without too much trouble. So that's three reasons it's not the most difficult game. So, what is? If mechanical precision isn't the hardest thing possible, then what is? Mental precision. Big braininess. Instead of testing your speed, test your knowledge. The hardest genre of gaming is trivia. So I joined a Minecraft version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the game show to test your brain. But I had a trick up my sleeve. A game show needs an audience, and that was my opportunity. There would be 40 people watching the competition. All I needed was one of them on my side. The arena is a circle, so I placed an inside man behind the host so that I could see them, but the host couldn't. The plan was simple. While I was thinking through my answer, they would find the correct answer and give me a signal to tell me. One click meant the answer was A, two clicks for B, and so on. If I won, I would get a hundred million coins and prove that trivia games aren't the hardest, which isn't really the point of my video. I, I, I want it to be the hardest, but why would I do it? Anyway, but it's already started. Let's go. Question one for one whole coin. Okay. With Mayor Diaz's perks, what is a multiplier increasing the daily buy limit? A. Uh, okay, so the daily buy, I used to make a lot of money off the daily buy limit. When it came back to Diaz, I was excited, but you don't actually get much more. It's only 10 times, which the answer is C. That is correct. <sighs> so you have won yourself one whole coin. Yes! Oh, I can't believe I've done it. Question two. Which it was at that moment I realized that my man on the inside had quit to go watch Jojo's Bizarre Adventure instead. I had been left for anime. I had to rely on myself and only myself to answer this question. I'd like to use a lifeline. I think it was a hedge money artifact. I'm locking in B, hedge money artifact. B. Correct. <sighs> I get it. Uh, I'll... Just... Okay, I need to look at all these names. All right. Well, there's a. Wait, he's gone, right? Okay, can you guys actually like just help me cheat? Either click the amount of times the answer is C is three, D is four, you know, or as he's saying them. Just start nodding when it's the right one. Although he is, I can yeah, just tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Hi. Is that auction house? What was the builder's house? Is it that one? Because there's um. After that chat with the audience, I had them all on my side. I went through the next twelve questions easily, all up until the final question, worth a hundred million coins. But I had to find a way to convince him that I wasn't cheating, that I was really truly a genius. I, I do any mini money mo. That's how I do things. So it's either BSC, any mini money mo. Can you take the other two? If you hold us, let him go. Any mini money mo. Yeah, I choose C. You are correct. <laughs> Yes! I win! Oh I win! I'm gonna spend it all on cocaine. And so trivia isn't difficult either. What game could possibly be hard? Why... Why are they so easy? I mean, maybe it's my fault. I did kinda cheat on all the games so far. World's hardest game, I went through the walls. Dark Souls, I skipped to the ending before fighting a single boss. Minecraft, I just blatantly cheated the whole way through. What if I... Wait, no, that was funny, so it's fine. No, cheating is not my issue. I just need to fight in the right game. Okay, speed round. One of every single video game genre, let's go. Racing games. This is Trackmania. At first glance, I thought this was extremely difficult. Look at the insane tricks people can pull off. 
But then I remembered, I have a driver's license in real life. That's gotta be way harder. MMORPGs. Now, to get good at these games, you have to do one specific thing. And there you go, you win. Fighting games. Smash Bros is such a huge game right now and there is really no limit to how good you can get. You could spend hours learning combos, counterpicks and techniques for each individual map. The difficulty is based on your own mastery of the game. There is no ceiling, making it the hardest game of all- Just kidding, mash your face against the keys and you'll win most of your matches. Japanese games. There are some really great Japanese games. Final Fantasy has persisted decades. Persona 5 was one of the best games of recent times with extreme difficulty challenges. But none of them match JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for the PlayStation 3. And the final genre, Call of Duty games. There are so many, it's an entire genre. And the difficult thing about these is buying them all. If you bought every one on release, that would be a total of $2,000. And that's the hardest part of every game genre. But still, I, I find it hard to say that any of them are more difficult than Don't Shoot the Puppy. I haven't found a single harder game. I'm... A failure. I cheated on every game. The Japanese games were close. Toho was good, but that's the end. Wait. That's the end, Japanese games. That's the end, translated to Japanese is... The hardest thing of all time is watching a YouTube video without a JoJo reference. It's impossible!